Yeah. All right, shut up and sit down. <laughs> Good evening. Hey, you're not the chair anymore, right? I, I, I Get to the back of the room. That was in the record and shut up and sit down. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, well, love it. <laughs> it's been a long day. So, welcome to JMAP at IETF 120. At this point in the week, we hope that you have read the note well, well, but we will once again emphasize that uh, there are a number of things that you need to um, acknowledge with respect to uh, uh, our, our process, uh, uh, IPR, anti-harassment procedures, code of conduct, copyrights, and so forth, that uh, if you aren't familiar with those, you really owe it to yourselves to uh, read those things, and in particular, probably if you haven't read them at this point, you should probably not say anything. Yeah. I did like Murray's, uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used by the IATF. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good. short version of it. And uh, this is uh, another uh, uh, kind of emphasis of the uh, guidelines for conduct and anti-harassment procedures. And uh, if you... Uh, feel like you're being harassed um, or a witness to it, then you should probably talk with the ombuds team or perhaps with the, with the uh, executive director. Um, please uh, log into the session via data tracker. We like to know how many people are here um, and not have it seem like there are fewer people interested in JMAP than there actually are. Um, and uh, we will ask you to uh, indicate if you want to say something by joining the uh, mic queue, and that makes it uh, fairer for people who are remote and uh, can't physically stand up behind the microphone. Uh, please keep your audio and video off unless you're actually speaking. So uh, this is probably stuff that you have already seen, resources. And so... Uh, first item is we have uh, uh, some IANA registries that we need to uh, discuss expert reviewers for because the expert reviewers are kind of, um, I don't know, I, I won't say expiring. It makes it sound like they're dying, but they're, they're not active. Um, and uh, we're going to go through our uh, active documents, both the ones that are with the IS, IESG and uh, the ones that... Uh, uh, are currently with us and also uh, discuss what needs to happen with some of the expired ones. <clears throat> so. Yeah, so this, this is the first question that's come up. Uh, we have a document that's currently delayed. Um, we're missing lots of people. Neil will be here in a few minutes. Murray will be here in a few minutes. Um, we have our list of expert reviewers, which we started off by having the two authors of the core draft, um, but Chris has become busy with other things and is not responsive to IATF at the moment. Um, and Neil, of course, is the author of the draft that's currently waiting on IANA. I think it would be really good to have two more expert reviewers um, who are not fast mail people and either remove Chris or just leave him on there as optional because it is one reviewer required. Ken, if you want to. I know we don't want to have multiple people from one company, but I would like to nominate either Hans Jorg or somebody from Madriga to be an expert reviewer. I know they're, they're pretty, uh, in, they're, they're very excited about JMAP and I think they've read the specs and use the specs enough to, to qualify. I see Hans Jorg smiling. <laughs> Hi. Uh, it's already me in the queue. Good morning. Oh, good hey. morning, Yours. Or good <laughs> evening, Yours. I would uh, volunteer. Thanks. Okay. Recommendations will be made. Um, and I, it looked like I saw Arndt uh, raise his hand there. Very, very suspended and 
Okay, well, since uh, Arndt was off microphone, he'll say uh, your yours is good, but if you want a third, that he will volunteer. So I think that's probably a good idea. All right, that sounds like we have enough volunteers. Thank you. I will ask Murray um, when he shows up to add the two of you as reviewers. All right, Neil is not here yet, um, and is the author on three of these. Ken is the author on the other one, I think. Siv? Uh, yeah, JMAP Siv went into the editor queue on Monday, I think I got the, the email, which I think means they're looking at it. They're not actually doing anything specific with it, but it's there. Yeah, and there's, there's nothing we need to care about as a group. Okay, we'll catch up with Neil on the others when he gets here. All right, web push vapid. I'm pretty sure the author is not here. Um, I did send him an email asking if he was had anything just today following up on it because he was not responsive to either of the uh, reviews that happened back in Brisbane or the follow up messages from that. So I guess we'll have to see what he's up to. Um, Thanks, Philip, for more more feedback on it today. Um, yeah, I, I'm keen for it to get out, but I guess the only question there is if we can't jump the gun. get um, can't get the existing author to work on it, whether we appoint new authors to work on this or not, because otherwise the work's just sitting around. Um, I'll ask our director for guidance on that. Are you asking whether about procedure for this? Yeah. I can tell you the procedure. Okay. As a working group chairs, you are able to reassign editors. Cool. That's part of your uh, Power. powers. I'll give him a few weeks. Ken. If you can't reach him, I'd be willing to help edit that. And Neil is in the queue now. Um, yeah, I think I read Philip's response, and uh, I think that actually probably is sufficient for queue rotation. So we may not need any changes other than some advice on how to detect it. Uh, but I'll reply on the list. I didn't catch up with that, but all right. Let's let's move. Uh, well, since Neil's here, let's go back and talk about the calendars, contacts, and sharing documents. Again, uh, there's not much to say. I think, as far as I know, they're all ready. Uh, I need to do a few Iana tweaks on the calendar, one that Murray flagged. But other than that, I don't believe anything's outstanding from me or the working group. Cool. So I guess the only action there is for Neil to to um, make edits that Murray flagged. And the action- And of course, of course we need the new uh, people to approve the honor things for the registry. Oh yeah, um, Murray's just gonna take care of that, but we have two new people who have volunteered, uh, Joris and Aunt, to be reviewers as well. So that will give us a, a wide group of reviewers for any future documents. All right, um, action for web push vapid is Bron to try and contact author. Go ahead, Alexi. Oh, I'm just... oh you're right, of course. <laughs> All right. Um, Essential portability and rest. Was there anything that I think that was? No, we had SMIME sender extension. No, there's still uh, those other active documents. Web push vapid was the first one, but there are others, I think, I back on the previous here? slide. Yep. Oh. Uh, no, previous slide from that, maybe. No, okay, I didn't I didn't put in slides for them because Yoris has them. 
That's right. Okay. Let's switch to switch, switch to, yours. to yours. Okay. Slides. Should I? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Unshare or share the other slides. Okay, your slides are up. Yours. Do you want control? Yeah. I never tried that. I think. Give it a try. Oh, seems to work. Ah, uh, oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So basically, um, here are the updates on all my drafts. Uh, I hear myself twice a bit, but I think it's fine. Can, can you move your microphone slightly further from your mouth? It's super loud in here. All right. Wait. Is it better like that? Yeah, much oh, better. Nice. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Good. OK. So um, yeah, um, basically, I, I combined all the draft updates in a single presentation this time, um, mainly because not that much happened. Um, so well, wait. Yeah, so this is an update on JMAP Essential, portability extensions, REST, and the tasks specs. Um, for JMAP Essential, there was some feedback at last ITF for mainly for renaming it. So we, I'm, uh, we can emphasize the broader use case beyond the portability use case. And I think this document should be quite ready. Um, I will, I will have, I want to do some finishing touches maybe uh, until next ITF. And I think it should be ready for a working group last call next ITF. Um, yeah. If anybody has any feedback here. Um, Is there free. any reason to wait that long? Is this just your time? Uh, we can do a working group last call between meetings. Um, um, for me, I'm not sure. So we, we started implementing this, but I'm not sure if the implementation experience we already have is, is fine enough. I would need to have a uh, double check that. Um, and also, um, yeah, there's just one minor thing that's still on my to-do list. But yeah, we could do it in between if that's the favorite approach. Yeah, unless unless there's a lot that needs to be done with it. Um, I mean, you can put some finishing touches on before we do the last call, but it de I mean, it doesn't seem like it, it there, there would be that much that yeah. uh, we should hold up last call for a whole uh, IETF period. All right. Sounds good. Um, yeah. All right. Then I'm going to go to the next spec, um, uh, the well, portability. But before you do, you do have some changes you want to make, like one more, one more revision before we go to last call, or is it ready now? I would say one more revision. Okay, but it, great. it's not much. It's cool. mainly um, being more clear on what the uh, the basic definition here means. Cool. I've I've minuted this to you to publish another revision. Thank you. Yep. All right, so um, on the portability extensions, I addressed some minor nits that uh, Ken wrote to the list. Um, the things that Neil commented are still on my to-do list. So yeah, I um, need to follow up on that. And regarding the other specs, Jamer Breast is still um, in a more or less unhappy state with uh, comments from three different people that I need to address and JMAP tasks is also still awaiting updates. There has not been any progress on this for quite some time. Um, yeah, on my to do to do list, definitely. And that's actually it. Okay, so all four of these are going to require another document update, I guess, before we go to last call. Is there anything that the rest of the working group can help you with on any of them? Hmm. Not sure. What, like, not really. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I I have enough comments. I think to to work them in. Like, um, it has been reviewed. So, um, yeah, it's it's mainly on me and and Hans Jörg to 
include the changes. Cool. Okay, Hans Jörg, did you have a comment? So this is Hans Jörg. Uh, so regarding uh, Bron's question, um, I think one of the main things we um, we have uh, outstanding for the JMAP task was uh, that we also wanted to uh, discuss with vendors um, the tasks data model in a certain way because um, you know we already presented in earlier ITFs that there is can you hear me yeah that there is um, tasks as in typical uh, group based systems but also tasks as in um, you know other kind of um, systems. <laughs> and it would just be good to have some more vendor feedback here. Um, certainly, we want, also want to reach out to some, but also feel free, uh, I think, to uh, check that draft um, and um, probably also note other people that might be interested. In that. I think that would be is, is one of the main things for the draft, actually, to uh, provide some more awareness also to, uh, to people that are probably not so typical JMF users right now. All right, um, so I guess that's an action for everybody. Talk with any task vendors, you know. Thank you. All right, um, SMIME sender extensions. Alexi, anything new there? Nothing, nothing to report, I haven't done anything. Uh, anything we can help you with on that? Yeah, if I had if I had spare time, I'd be on a beach somewhere, getting sunburnt like I did last week. That's the agenda. That well, is everything we had. We had tasks we've already covered. Yeah, yeah, got, I, got I was just reading the just reading the comment about. Uh, Calyx tasks. Yeah, Calyx tasks is still pending as well, um, waiting on us following up with Mark Douglas on that. Um, I think this is the status for Calyx tasks, Ken, was that we we're waiting on Mike to post a revised draft. Yeah, we're waiting on Mike. We're also waiting to, to get um, feedback from DHL who had posted some IPR. Um, yeah. I think a lot of them have been revoked. There's still one outstanding patent claim and I want to say Singapore or something. So mm -hmm. we're trying to get confirmation of whether that's still active and whether it covers the actual uh, data format elements or just the examples that they use to show off the data format elements. Because this examples will change the examples. Yeah, all right. Um, so, but so far DHL has been non-responsive after the first go round. All right. That's, that's another working group thing anyway, but I'll follow up on that with you later. Cool. Uh, milestone review. So do you want to share, or actually no, if you unshare, maybe I can share my screen, that might be easier. Um, yeah, you're, you're the wizard with the data tracker milestones thing. All right, we get the infinite zoom and then over here, the milestones. So Web Push Vapid has been kicked forwards. I think we should be able to get that published. We'll get it to ASG by September. That gives us two months. It's really just a matter of getting in contact with the authors and either revising it or getting it edited. SMOM sender extensions, Alexi. How far do you want to keep this can down the road? Okay. 
Cool. Jam it. I can probably just probably just send up just because it's too satisfying. Yeah. It'll be by Christmas one year. All right. Um, jam up tasks. What do we think? Um, yeah. We would move it. I would say, yeah. Beginning of next year or something. Yeah. Cool. February is good. Gives us a chance to notice we've missed it in the March ATF. Uh, adopt a document for JMAP archive format. This is something that we kind of forgot about. I think we were going to do a interchange archival format for JMAP. Um. <laughs> so, so ashes, uh, this is Zurich, ashes on my head, if this is correct English. Um, so again, talking to people, this ITF, this seems to be something people have a lot of interest in, and it's on my stack. Um, and also Alexei uh, volunteered, I think, last time already to help on this. Um, so yeah, we, we, what the group can help is to more, force us more on starting on this, probably. Yeah. <laughs> we promise we really, really will do it now. Yeah. All right. I'm going to expect you to have something to me by October, which is uh, in advance the next day it's here. So we'll adopt it, we can discuss it there. Portability guide, minimal profile. That one sounded like it's closer to ready. So um, I'll say November, which means by next IATF, we should be able to last call it and submit it. Mm -hmm. Um, rest mapping document. I would say make it similar to task. Similar to tasks. All right. Yeah. Um, portability extensions. That could be next ITF. Next ITF as well. Cool. Um, do we have any new milestones that have come up out of all of this work? I want to do something around um, JMAP files access. So Dropbox type API. Um, but I think likely I'll bring something to next IAT if I get organized for that and then we'll, we'll discuss adding it there. So that's fine. Our changes, are, we've changed the times on everything. We have no new milestones done. Sweet. Any other business? So many controversies this meeting. All right, raise your hands now or see you in Dublin. Uh, and we, we managed to finish before Murray even got back. That's all right. I'll ask him to Let's just check my actions here. Look at that. Sorry? No, we have 37 minutes left. We got done in a very short time. All right, you've got uh, 35 minutes of drinking time left, except Ken has got 35 minutes of getting to the airport in time for his multiple hours delayed flight time. Have they fixed all that yet? You're flying American, right? You might be all right. Cool. Thanks, everyone. See ya. Stop sharing. Sweet.